In this second tutorial, I'm going to go through how to create pages in more detail. In the first tutorial, we just went through creating a basic site, which you can see right here, and the basics of um, creating one page and linking to it. Now, as I showed in the previous tutorial, you can use the new page module to create pages. This module in the sidebar is just a basic module that can create pages in any category on the site. If you want to do more specific things, you may want to create a module yourself. So let's just create a new page called Tute 2. And I'll create a module called Module New Page. Now that would work fine as it is. I'll show you what it looks like. There, so we'll have a box and a create page thing, just exactly like this. Except, well, the button on the text on the button is slightly different, but other than that. Now, what we can do, if you look down here, is I believe it's button equals. If you want to change the text, there we go. Now our text matches. You may also want to specify a specific category. Now, I'll go into categories later, but categories are used to organize your pages. If you've got a website about a sports team, you might have a category for players and a different category for each game they play, for example, and a different category for each location they play at. Um, whilst you have your home page, and most other pages are in what's called the default category. So I'm just going to create a category called Shoot 2. Actually, you won't call it that. We'll call it, we'll call it um, animals. We'll call it animal. The animal category. Now, if I show you the preview, you cannot see any visual difference. So what I'm just going to do here is new animal page. Just so that it reminds me exactly what it's for. Now, once I'm happy with that, I can save the page. Okay, now when I create a page over here, I typed in shoot02 and it created a page called shoot02. If I now type in a page, for example, cat, which is a type of animal. Cats are cool. You'll notice that instead of just being a page called cat, it actually, it actually prepends it with the word animal and a colon there. When you see a colon in a page name, it's a separator between the category and the actual page name. When we had shoot 02 here, we only had a page name. That means that it's in the default category, which is also another, another way of saying it's in no category at all. So all you saw was the page name only saying shoot 2. If we put shoot 2 into the animal category, it would look like that. So we've got animal cat. We could also have a dog, just say. So if I go back to this shoot 2 page, and I say dog, and best friend, and now we've got an animal, which is a dog. Now, I've been using news page module to create pages. There's one slight issue with this. Um, if you want to have more control over the page names, just say you want to ensure that there are never going to be any duplicate names. Because if I type in cat here, it will tell me that the page already exists, and I can jump to that page, or I can close and try a different page. So I'll just try jumping to it now. And it just sends me there instead. The idea being that I can edit that. Now, in some cases, I might say want um, to create, if it's about um, that sports team that I was talking about, and I wanted to have a different page for every single game they played, 
there may be over over a number of years there may be hundreds of games. So the easiest way to do that would be to make we could automatically number them from one, two, three, four upwards. The way I do this is with an auto numbered category. If I go into admin and manage site, I'll go down to auto numbering of pages, add auto numbering, and I want to make a game for um, a match category for every match that the team plays. Since it doesn't exist yet, I'll create a new one. It will only exist if you've already created a page in that category, which I haven't yet. I've created pages in the animal category instead. Okay, now we can check options. That I'll just leave empty for now. Um, or you can go into more detail with that in the future. Or you can check wiki, official wiki documentation if you'd like help with it. I can cancel this by removing the order numbering, but for now I'm just going to leave it active. Now I'll show you what this means. If I go to shoot two again, and I go to create a second new page module, and I'll call this the match category, and I'll say new match page. Now when we create a page in here called cat, it changed the name of the page to animal cat. Let's just say, um, we'll say, new, we'll call the page Sunday. Uh, Sunday, I don't know, what's today? Today I'm recording this on Tuesday. 12 March 2013. Now, let's see how that turns out. It's actually using, it's it's not using that as the page name at all. The page name is the word new. So we've got the category match and the page name new. Now if I save this, it's changed to number one. So because we've got order numbered categories, it will do match one, match two, match three, for example. I'll show that in more detail now. Now, the most important thing, actually. Okay, so that's page one. In here, if you went to create a page called cat, it would say that it exists. If we try to create a page called one, which does exist, it will actually ignore that and it will still do the page called new. And it will use one as the title of the page instead, because that's what we entered, and it auto numbers to two next. So it's to go on from one to two and onwards. So we've got Two sets of categories. We've got the animal category with cats and dogs in it, um, which is not auto numbered, and we have the match category, which has games, which has matches for a sports team in it, which is auto numbered. It starts from one and goes infinitely until you stop creating pages. Now, there's another way to create pages. If I wanted to, if, if you, I'll just show you now quickly. If I create another match, actually, we'll create another page, animal. Um, Match that already. Just say Wednesday, just say tomorrow. 13 March 2013. You'll notice here it has the web address before I finish editing. It has the web um, web URL, it has the page name with new as a page name and batch as the category. And then it has slash edit slash true. And the title, which is what I entered into the new page module here. So if I copy this, I can actually use that as a link. So, oh, I cancel this. I'll go back to, go back to my tube 2 page. What I can do is, using that link that I mentioned before, in this case, I because it's a local link on the same wiki, I don't need that. I can just start with a slash and a page name. So I'm creating a page called that in new. And because the match category is auto numbered, this it will never actually be saved as new, it will be saved as the next number in the sequence. So the key th important thing is that when you're doing this, make sure the category is auto numbered. Otherwise, you will create the page once 
and then it will just tell you that it already exists and wants you to jump to it instead. Now the next thing is the edit true. If I do slash edit slash true on the end, that'll mean that instead of this just being a normal link that goes straight to that page, like I did in the first tutorial, um, a link to my YouTube page, all I did there was slash YouTube and then the title. In this case, I am having slash edit slash true on the end and then I can say new match page. So that's my link and that's the title of the link. I'll ignore the title for now, but if you want to add a custom title, you can do that using that. Um, but for now, just to keep things simple, we'll go with the page name, slash edit, slash true. And remember, if you're doing this, this category, this match category must be auto numbered, or whatever you call the category. Now you'll notice that I have a link here instead of the new page module. That means that I can't actually enter a title. You can use CSS formatting to make this look nice, make it look like a button, or make it look like use an image instead, or something like that. But if I, instead of typing in here the date of the match, I can just click on here, and it will automatically take me to the same thing that I had before. And by default, it just says new as a title because it doesn't know what title I want. I didn't have a box to enter anything. But you'll notice that this is the same, that's a very similar URL to what I had before. If I now save this, it will still use the next number in the sequence. So I guess what I'm trying to um, emphasize here is that there are two main ways to create a page. You can do it using a new page module, or if your category is auto-numbered, and it's key that it does not work if it's not auto-numbered, um, you can create it with a link instead, which gives you more control over the appearance of the link, um, you can even make it use it as an image instead. So just say I wanted image, um, I don't have an image available, but just say um, example.png link equals, this is how you insert an image, and I can make the link like that. And that means when I click on that image, it will take me to that page anyway. So you can have a um, image saying create new match with a picture of a football field on it or something. Um, and when they click on that, it creates a new match page for them. Alright, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you learned something.